Greetings folks, I'm going to put the little SB F405 wing mini board on my little penguin here. I haven't flown the penguin a lot since I first got it. It had the uh, Atom RC Navi flight control board in it, which I've taken out and the little mini uh, BDB mini is going to fit in there beautifully. So the penguin has twin tractor motors, so I've changed the ESC connections to suit that. Uh, and uh, something I didn't pick up on earlier, but uh, the this flight control board, the arrows are facing towards the ESC and battery cables, which makes it perfect for a uh, tractor setup with the ESCs in front of the flight control board. You don't have to run your wires around the back like that with a lot of other boards. Going to be using Express LRS, one of these little nano receivers. Uh, got a four pin DuPont plug, plug there, which we'll just plug straight into. UART1 specifically provided for Express LRS and Crossfire receivers and all other receivers. If you had SBUS, you'd be plugging it into the SBUS pins, which are the first ones on the left, looking like that. And that is UART2, the dedicated inverted pin, but we're using UART1. Now let's look around here. Now we have GPS and digital FPV gear. And I made up these cables just with four pins so that I can plug a four pin DuPont setup straight into that. Makes it nice and easy. And I've mounted it on a 3D printed, uh, double sided taped it onto a 3D printed uh, base there so I can screw it straight into the penguin. All right, so that's what we're going to do right now. So connecting up the little XT30 ESC connections there, a little bit fiddly, trying to get it in and record it. So they're plugged in now. ESC signal wires going into S1 and S2. Like that. And we have elevator here. Going into S3. And ailerons also have LED plugged down there, but down there, but I'm not using that. Let's get the receiver out of the way. And the other one into the other aileron, aileron into S5. So there we go. That is all in. Push the wires out of the way. Now, put my receiver back into UART1. That's good. GPS I have tucked in underneath the lid there. That goes into this one here. That's the power pair. Make sure I get them around the right way, correct. And here's the uh, RX and TX. Good having it on a, a two pin if you're putting a new setup in because then you can just flip them around if you're um, having trouble getting it to connect and you've got the RX and the TX around the wrong way. Pass the FPV through to the front. And now I can connect it up and show you how we set it up. Okay, I'm connected up. I upgraded it to INAV 7 just to see if we could see the camera switching, which I'm, not, which I'm not seeing just yet. So I don't know quite what's going on there. Uh, but there's the model there sitting up on its nose. Done my calibration, mixer. It is a airplane without a rudder, but with a second motor. So I had to add that uh, second motor line there. This is the new INAV7 where you can adjust all the different timers to um, output servos or motor, motors as you require. Servo 1 is the elevator stabilised pitch and that is on S3, it shows you up here. Servos 2 and 3 are ailerons, stabilised roll and they are on S4 and S5. When I connected it up, uh, I found the ailerons were going the wrong way, so I reversed the weight in the mixer here. You can also reverse the uh, channel in the servo, but when you've got a, a mixed 
input, like for a flying wing or a V-tail, you have to do the reversing in the mixer page, not the outputs page, uh, because the outputs page reverses the entire servo. So that's not going to help you if you just want to reverse the elevator or something like that on a fixed wing, on a uh, flying wing. Ports, I'm using Express LRS, uh, and that connection is UART1, so I have to enable uh, Serial RX on UART1. The GPS plug goes to UART3, so that is pre-selected as GPS on UART3. And the digital FPV by default, that plug goes to UART5. So that's where I'm connecting my uh, root hacked DJI V1 goggles and air units. And configuration, now I'm not using FR Sky and I don't need soft serial for telemetry back to the radio. So I don't need uh, CPU based serial ports. We've got plenty of ports for what I need. I am using GPS, so I clicked that. I clicked continuously trim servos on fixed wing and unclicked profile selection with TX stick because I've only got one profile. I don't want to change it by mistake. Fail safe, return to home, PID tuning. Mostly leaving it stock, but I increased the feed forward to give me sufficient elevator movement. Uh, just for my first throw, then I can adjust that later on. Rates and expo, I uh, can probably increase as I get to fly the plane a bit more and work out how quickly it can roll and how quickly it can, can uh, loop and pitch and things like that. But uh, starting off with these values is fine. Mechanics, I've put plus four uh, to give it plus, to give the board four degrees nose up attitude, which should keep it flying level in angle mode. We'll check that with our first flight. Advanced tuning, I'm not going to use auto launch, so we can forget about that. Simplifies things a lot. I've dropped the cruise throttle down from 1400 to 1350 because I don't need that uh, higher level of throttle in cruise mode. Uh, and I like to increase the throttle if I can. So that allows manual throttle increase when you're in cruise mode or the um, any of the navigation modes. The rest I've left it as it is. Receiver, as I said, is uh, Express LRS, so I need to choose Crossfire there. That's all good. Here are my modes, uh, Arm on Channel 5, Angle and Manual on Channel 6, as well as Acro. Cruise and Loiter on Channel 7, as well as Acro, and Return to Home on Channel 8 by itself. Now I'm expecting to see uh, user modes here so that I can do camera switching, but it's not showing up for some reason. I am in uh, version 7. Should be there, but um, there must be something I'm missing. So if anyone knows why I'm not seeing the user mode to enable uh, camera switching, analog camera switching, then please let me know. But I'm using digital anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. GPS. Yes, I'm using GPS, so I have to click that there. Uh, and you can see it's running off the USB power, so uh, I can see that the GPS is actually functioning properly. Here's my OSD screen. I have three page OSD so that I can uh, hide stuff on the screen if I want to, or just clear the screen for a nice clear view. It's just the way I do it. And that's the quick and easy setup. We are now ready to take it out for a test fly. And here's my FPV setup. Uh, run cam link Phoenix just sitting up on top of the canopy there four pin DuPont plug which I just quick and easily plug into this one here these are just flight control board pin sets that um, sold it up and put a bit of heat shrink on and that works nicely so that now just goes in there and uh, 18654s in the nose there and let's go for a fly all armed up and ready to go. Looking okay. A bit of wind around, but this is flying very nicely. Into the wind now. Very responsive. 
angle mode are we maintaining altitude 65 meters looking pretty good yep okay so that plus four degrees in the um, pitch trim is looking okay 61 62 near enough okay that's pretty good manual mode we lots of control <laughs> that is a quick this just gives me an idea of the uh, roll rates and the pitch rate for later on Cruise mode now. Cruising at four and a bit amps, that's lovely. Four amps. Looking beautiful. Turn around, come back towards home. This is INAV7 too, first time I've used it actually, so it's working pretty well. Sixty six kilometres an hour downwind. It's going beautifully. Return to launch, see how that works. very nicely. So there we go, that's a really good setup. The uh, Speedy B F405 Wing Mini board in the Penguin works beautifully. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.